Well, hello again. Welcome to day... what is it? 21! Right. We have a few more minis completed. We have the two paladins from the AD&D set. And also the two clerics, I believe they are known as. Uh, well, here's the other one. Here's the female one. Again, simple rough paint jobs, but I think it's good enough. And I've done two more room quest minis. Now, the heavily armored one here is, uh, a, as I've said, a brew. This is a very unusual brew. He's in full plate armor. Now, Brew are not civilized normally. They don't have access to this sort of gear. And this kind of high medieval plate armor barely exists at all in Glorantha. So, either this is supposed to be a very, very unusual hero Brew, or the sculptor simply wasn't well informed about the world. Uh, but the Dragon Newt looks perfectly normal and nothing unusual there so that was today's crop of finished minis this is uh, the other stuff in the works you can see that I've put a little bit more paint on some of them possibly than yesterday at least these guys in front I'll probably finish them by tomorrow and uh, cleanup of uh, the big batch of gray minis continues. Nothing exciting to see there. Moving on. Day 21's question, if I could have a pet from any game or fictional universe. Um, and it can't be too big. Mm, I haven't thought too much about it, but, but what comes to mind is a blink dog from Dungeons and Dragons. It's essentially just a big, intelligent dog that can teleport. <laughs> I think that would be fun. That, that that would be that would not stand out too much. It would not seem too weird. Like if I had a pet dragon or something, um, people might wonder about that. But you know, a dog is just a dog, and it could you know pass as a normal dog possibly. Um. Yeah, so that'll be today's update on this project. See you tomorrow.